My name's Chad. I'm Rosalyn, and we have a two-year-old daughter named Aurora. Also, we have a cat named Zachary. He is so loving and affectionate and sweet and social, but he sprays urine all over the house. He likes to spray all over the pillows and the back of the chair. And then he has decided it would be fun to spray into the closet. When he sprays, it hits a lot of pillows, bedding, carpet, walls. Oh my gosh, gross. He does use the litter box, but he will still spray while he's in the litter box. We're especially concerned about our daughter Aurora because he does it in her room the most. She's two, she's roaming around, putting everything in her mouth and touching everything. It concerns us for her health and safety. We just want our home back, our lives back, and we want our daughter to be healthy and happy and not have to worry about urine being all over her room. I'm meeting up with Rosalind, Chad, their daughter Aurora, and Zachary, AKA the pee machine. Apparently that boy is leaving his mark all over this house. Of course, that's why I'm here, right? Hey. Hi. How are you, Jackson? Hi, I'm Rosalind. Hey, I'm Chad. Chad, I'm Jackson. Good nice to meet you, you, man. Why don't you fill me in? Zachary sprays urine all over the house, specifically in our daughter's room. He sprays all over her bed. Really? The cat's peeing on their daughter's bed. It doesn't get any worse than that. You've hit a nine on the pee meter Has he always been like that? Yeah, for the most part, um, but it's gotten worse more recently. We just moved into this house last year, and he actually did really well for about the first eight months. OK, so you've had him for how long? Um, we've had him about six years. OK, so in that six years, and how old is Aurora? She's two. So when Aurora was born, did he kick it up a notch? Or was he he cold? didn't, actually. OK, no. so, so stress-wise, when she came along, he was OK, because he usually Kids come along and cats, well, hi. And Who's there's that? There's our star. <laughs> hi, Zachary. Come say hi to me. Oh my God, he's being such a cat. He's like, <laughs> you come say hi to me. Exactly. How about that big guy? Yeah. How about that? Is this kind of a Zachary ish thing to be making the rounds? Kind of like, yeah. it's very interesting to me because usually the cat that, I call them the mojito cats, right? The mojito cats are the ones who meet you at the door, They're like, come on in, have a mojito, that kind of thing, right? Yeah. yeah. He's kind of a mojito cat in that way. He's the one who greets, right? Definitely. He's coming right up to me, and he wants to be loved and pet and whatever, walking up to everybody. Not the one that you would expect who would be doing all right. of the marking, yeah. right? I mean, marking is an unconfident expression of territorial horror. Yeah, it's almost a bipolar kind it of is. thing. It is. I mean, it's actually um, a really weird dynamic. Being this present, this mojito, that he's gonna come out here and just spread himself across oh, yeah. the table. So this is this is normal. This is him. Yeah. Normal Zachary behavior. Right off the bat, he is so friendly, so present. I can't believe that he's the cat who's peeing all over this house. First things first, is Zachary neutered? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we can rule that out. Now, how did you guys wind up with Zachary? I was working at an animal rescue sanctuary. He actually got in a lot of fights there. Interesting. Yeah. Um, he started so... getting picked on there by some of the other males. Ah, so okay. He... Now that's important. We open doors and windows. There are a few neighbors. Yeah, I was about to say. I, did you notice yeah. I went? <laughs> yeah. And we have feral cats out there, yes, right? Yeah. Exactly. Ferals or, or neighborhood or belong to anybody, do you know? I've tried to pay attention to see, you know, if they go into anybody's house, but yeah. these cats just seem to go everywhere. They go in everybody's yards and in front of everybody's house. Are they tame? <sighs> they tend to run away if we try to get pretty close. So you haven't been able to touch anybody? No. no. It didn't take long for me to start putting the puzzle pieces together. Zachary always peed when he was anxious, but it was never all that much. They moved here and boom, it happened. And when did it happen? Around springtime, when it starts to thaw and cats come out. Let's start looking around. Show me all the places that Zachary has peed up, which is apparently a lot. He has peed in the corner of the couch. This corner here? It was between both of these. Which spots Zachary likes to mark gives me important clues to figure out why this really confident cat feels like he has to mark up the whole territory. Using my black light, I can find stains that have already even been cleaned up. He can spray this high. Yeah. And that is really, that's like, mom, the house is on fire. This will all help me formulate a plan that will give this family some peace of mind, hopefully. 
She's, she doesn't sleep in there. She's never slept in here. What? For fear that she's going to be peed on or sleeping in it. I'm so sorry, because you just assume the goal is I want my cat to stop peeing. But really, your goal is to get your child into her bed. That yeah, would that'd... be great. She sleeps in bed with us. Yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah. Now I know what our stakes are. This little girl doesn't have a room right now, and that just, that stinks. Having Aurora at two years old still sleeping in their bed because Zachary's peeing in her bed, it can't be normal, and we can't let it continue to be normal. Obviously, this is a very, very important spot for him. Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting this kind of attention. This isn't just love that I'm getting from him. He has marked me from head to toe. Cats are covered in scent glands, right? Yeah. So when they rub up against you, whether it's their side, right here between the eyes, in between all of their pads, their scent glands. So when they scratch, they're leaving scent. When they butt up against you, they're leaving scent. That is a confident way of leaving scent. Not, right? So that's what we're looking at with him. What turns him into Napoleon? Because the cat I'm meeting right now is just uber mojito. You see how he's picking this spot here? Look at what our view is, right? Yep. I know something's going on out there. Let me give you some homework. All the fact gathering is done for now, but I got a theory and now we got to test it. So my theory is Zachary is just panicked territorially. He feels like there are barbarians at the gate and they're busting through and he's trying to warn you guys on a daily basis that the world is not a safe place for him. Now the homework comes down to you guys proving that theory. Uh, the first step to that is detective work. I need you guys to work the neighborhood. I need you to figure out who those cats belong to, if they do. Also, detective-wise, you can also take the black light that I'm gonna give you and document every spot in the house that he pees. I'm gonna give you guys a motion-activated camera that hooks into your Wi-Fi. All you gotta do is set it up and just monitor it. And that way, this time of day, you're gonna get your evidence and what they're doing and how they're torturing this guy. The second part of the homework is catification. I'd like to get a bed of some sort right on Aurora's bed. Give him that place of ownership at ground zero. You see where he's sitting right now? That's one of his favorite spots. Okay, because he's soaking scent in there and he can see out there. Any place that he can put himself, I want his scent strong in there. Cats need signposts that represent confident ownership of territory. Scent soakers, litter boxes, food dishes, blankets, beds, scratchers, towers, all these things where a cat can walk by, smell themselves and go, I own this place. If the top part of this house has nothing that says cat, what's he gonna do? He's gonna put his mark down when he feels insecure. I will see you in a few weeks. All right, thank you Take so care, much. it was great to meet you. The pressure's really on the guardians to do their assignments, especially the detective work outside to find out why Zachary makes this turn from being a proud mojito cat to an insecure Napoleon. Now, if the guardians don't, gather the clues the way I need them to, well, then the next time I come back here, we're all gonna be pissing in the wind. <laughs>